I think your whole world stops that moment that you're told that your child has cancer. Uh, you can't breathe, you can't see. Yeah, everything that you know will never be the same again. She was uh, diagnosed with leukemia. There's no way to describe it, how to prepare for it. We were thinking about Taylor, Taylor at that. What were we gonna do? First time I was in the hospital, I actually got a two seizures. She had complications. I was diagnosed when I was six. When she was five. She turned 15. When my daughter was five years old. Um, was diagnosed with medulloblastoma. Hodgkin's lymphoma. My cancer was a brain tumor. A good day is um, when there's not much aches and pains, no headaches, just a normal average day. I don't think it's fair that anyone has cancer. The main mission of the Hawaii Children's Cancer Foundation is to provide support, both financial and emotional, to the families of children who are receiving cancer treatment. We realized that there was this great need um, that the families had for uh, help with their finances and other things that didn't have to do with the child's therapy and care. I have three healthy children, and if I were in that situation where one of my children had cancer, what kind of resources and support would help comfort me and make me feel better that I would be able to go through this difficult time? So if you're going to treat, to treat a child with cancer, you really have to treat the whole family to optimize you know, the care of the child and your chances of curing them. My name is Haley and I'm beating cancer. My name is Brandon, and I have cancer. I guess the first thing that goes through your mind is, how are you going to beat it? Just painful watching your child, you know, sick and you feel so helpless, you can't help him. HCCF was there from the beginning. When you have no idea what you're going to do next after you're told your child has cancer, they're the ones that can kind of bring you back down and tell you that you're not alone and that uh, there is help for you. They provided support for us to be able to actually stay with Haley because she needed so much care. One of us had to be with her all the time. It was extremely helpful for me um, being a single mom. Having that support from the Hawaii Children's Cancer Foundation was really helpful to me and gave me you know, ease of mind. When he was diagnosed, I actually was released from my job because they couldn't handle my hours that I needed to be away. The house that we were in was foreclosed on. I mean, it was kind of like your whole world comes crashing down on top of the most precious person to you in your life. You don't know what the outcome is gonna be. They gave us, our family and my wife, an opportunity to do and be closer to our daughter and closer to our family because of their help that they were able to give us. That takes a huge amount of stress off to be able to not worry about, okay, how am I gonna pay for this? We can, we can just do it. We can be there for her, we can do it. One of the things that's really been impressive is their ability to reach out to virtually every family and to give them something. It doesn't matter who you are, what your position is, how much money you have, whatever. Everybody has helped equally. We, we have a home and a family here. No matter what we're going through, um, you know, the Hawaii Children's Cancer Foundation is, is there to support us and to help us get on with helping our child get better. And it's just, it's such a relief to know that, you know, someone's got your back. <laughs> like remission for almost four years. She's on the swim team. Uh, she plays on my basketball team with her brother and she's going to school. She's getting pretty good grades. I think that I'm, I'm actually doing pretty good right now. The best thing is just being alive today. Just not losing hope. But to me at least, it's such a basic, obvious good cause. How can anybody not be emotionally involved doing with children with cancer? For 
Me, the Hawaii Children's Cancer Foundation says it all. They have children in their name and that's what they focus on. That's their only focus. Um, thank you doctors and nurses for uh, curing me and helping me try to get rid of this bad disease. It's a wonderful gift. We've been blessed to be able to be supported during a time when we can't actually support ourselves. When everything else is unstable, you know, we know that we can get help if we need it. I want to thank anybody who contributes and, and donates to, this, to the Hawaii Children's Cancer Foundation. Um, you've changed our lives and so many children in Hawaii. This is my daughter, Carissa, and she courageously fought a long battle with cancer. My name is Ryder. I have survived cancer. My name is Xander, and I beat cancer. My name is Madison, and I survived cancer. My name is Taylor, and I beat cancer.